Hello students. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to perform relaxed passive movements at the ankle joint. The movements of dorsiflexion and plantar flexion happen at the talocrural joint also known as the ankle joint which is an articulation between the tibia fibula and the talus. The movements of inversion and eversion happen at the subtalar joint which is an articulation between the talus and the calcaneus. The patient is relaxed and in supine lying or long sitting position. The therapist is in stride standing by the side of the patient towards the foot end of the treatment table. With one hand, stabilize the distal leg by placing it proximal to the ankle or alternatively at the tibial tuberosity. Make sure not to place your hand on the knee because that will put unnecessary pressure on the patient's knee. With the other hand, grasp the calcaneum by cupping your palm around the heel. And with your forearm, support the plantar aspect of the patient's foot. Now lean your body weight forward, going into a lunge sideways position. Pull the calcaneum distally with your thumb and fingers while pushing the foot upward with your forearm. Note that the two joint gastrocnemius muscle may restrict the range of motion for ankle dorsiflexion if the knee is completely extended. To avoid this, it is advisable to keep the knee slightly flexed. Hence, I have placed the pillow under the patient's knees. Coming to ankle plantar flexion. The patient is in supine lying or long sitting. The therapist is standing at the end of the treatment table. With one hand, grasp the calcaneum by cupping your palm against the patient's calcaneum. Place the other hand flat at the dorsum of the foot. Move both hands simultaneously to perform plantar flexion. Note that in bedridden patients, the ankle tends to assume a plantar flex position due to pull of gravity on the foot. So this motion may need not be performed in such patients. Talking about inversion and eversion. The position of the patient and the position of the therapist is the same as that for dorsiflexion. As for the grasp, fix the ankle with one hand by grasping distal to the malleoli. With the other hand, grasp the calcaneum so that the forearm supports the foot. Move the foot inward for inversion and outward for eversion. To perform the movements of inversion and eversion at the hind foot, grasp the patient's midfoot by placing fingers of your one hand at the plantar aspect and those of the other at the dorsal aspect. Perform the movement of inversion and eversion by flexing and extending your wrists. Passive movements for the toes are performed similar to those for the fingers of the hand. The patient is in supine lying or long sitting position. The therapist is standing besides the patient. With one hand, fix the metatarsals. Grasp the toes with the other hand. Bend the toes for flexion. Straighten them for extension. Several joints can be moved simultaneously if care is taken not to stress any structures. For more details on the principles and indications of passive movements, refer to your textbooks. Thanks for watching.